Hello and welcome to another National Bee Supplies video. Uh, in this film we're going to be assembling a national solid floor. You might want to use one of these instead of the Vroa mesh floor. Uh, the tools you're going to need for this are very simple really. It's a hammer, a pencil if you want to use it to mark to make sure you hit the size of the plywood correctly, um, a ruler and a punch if you've got one to drive the nails home once you've finished and obviously some glue. Uh, first thing to check is that you've got your pack of nails. You should have three pieces of wood of the cedar type. So we should have here like a left and a right. Let's see how those are opposite pieces. Just make sure you've got that. These two have the lap joint in the end. And then a blank piece is going to be the back. Another thing to check before you start and put glue everywhere is that the plywood fits nicely in the slot in the wood. Um, it's all bought as 18 mil, but it does tend to vary in thickness. So just check if you want to be able to move this because you're going to want to be able to line it up. So I'm going to start by putting some glue in this slot here and on the end, and then we'll assemble the floor. the joint there. Now we're going to put the plywood into the slots. The plywood is BBCC grade so you find that one side is better looking than the other. Um, I would always put the best face facing up. It's the one you're going to look at when you put your brew chamber on the hive. It doesn't matter. So this piece here, the thicker part, is the top. That's where the entrance block's going to sit. This thin bit will be underneath of the floor. So this nice face, that way. Slide on the back. one. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a nail in here to be right in the middle of this bit of plywood and we want this front edge to be nice and flush with the front of the plywood there. So there's a number of ways you could go with doing this. You could use your ruler and measure so that you know you've got exactly in the middle of the plywood. What I tend to do it's just literally just gauge it up, put the first one in, and then we'll use that as our mark for the other ones. So from here, I'm looking to make sure I'm in the middle of this bit of plywood, hammering the nail straight down with this edge flush. side. Now I'm going to put one at the back again, inch and a quarter down. If you want to, you can use the nail to measure. Make sure you hit in the middle of that plywood. I'll come back at the end and punch them in. We're going to put two more in the middle, but I'm going to do the other side first and then the back and make sure I'm happy with it before I put all the nails in. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is put two nails in here. 
and it's important that this edge is flush with that one because this is where your brew chamber is going to sit on top of the floor. I'm not so worried about the underneath, but this I want to be nice and flush there. So just take the edge off the nail a bit. Again, just checking to make sure that's flush. And I'm pulling this piece in this way so that it's tight in the joint. And on the other side. Repeat that on this side. Right, now I'm going to fix the back. those two. And then the last thing to do is to put two nails in here. And then the final thing, I'm just going to punch these home. If you've got a, a ball peen hammer, you might be able to get away with just using the other end if you're not worried about putting a slight dent in your cedar. It's easy with a punch. Right, so that's the national solid floor all finished. Uh, the entrance blocks obviously sits in the front here. If you want to, you could put a nail in the back or some people put a screw or an eyelet or something just so that it doesn't get lost inside the floor once your brew chamber's on it. It's quite a good idea to do that. But that's it finished.